Hey guys, welcome back. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got my chicken here, as you can see. I've just kind of been letting it drain out and all that stuff. I've got my mesquite chips soaking in some water. Um, my wife bought me this um, rub some chicken. The, the tagline is enhance your breasts. Uh, busting with savory herbs and garlic. I'm gonna use some of this, uh, but I also have some stuff I'm gonna inject into the chicken, and uh, I've got some other, you know, Chisholm recipe spices and stuff that I'm gonna put on there. And uh, we're having, uh, I've actually got two of these. We're gonna do uh, two chickens and uh, some whole bunch of other stuff instead of a turkey, but it is going in the Butterball electric fryer. So let's just get to this. I'm excited. Woo! So when you're carrying this out, you want to make sure since a turkey is the hole in the turkey is much larger, the chicken doesn't go all the way down onto the base. So you have to be careful. This can get a little top heavy and tip over. I've already got this set. It's been heating for about 30 or 40 minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Take that off. Oh yeah. And I'll set this to the side. Got my Temperature gauge on there. Set that down in like so. Put the lid back on. I've got this sucker cranked. I wanted there to be a lot of heat in this, so it kind of seals in, kind of crisps that skin on the outside, um, and then kind of uh, keeps that moisture in. Hey, buddy, you can come out. Come here. Don't get next to the. All right, so this, uh, if you saw my last video, there's a, this is just a, a hook. When you take this off, butterball thought of everything. You can just reach in. Grab it like that. That way you're not having to grab a hot handle. That would be dumb. I've also got my mesquite chips here. So they're all ready to go. Still, still a little wet. Those slide right in. Like I said, I've got it cranked up, and uh, it should be ready. It's 2:04 on Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I'm thinking this thing's gonna be done in about six hours. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe sooner. One, I've got the thermometer in here. Once it reaches uh, 170, I'll take it out and let it rest. So, all right, grass-fed ghee oil. I highly recommend it. So there you have it. The chicken's done. We're gonna have this with some um, sweet potato soup that I'm gonna make and uh, some sort of uh, rice. Uh, cheesy rice dish with some uh, some vegetables so yeah I can't wait to try this this looks amazing thank you butterball by the way I think I can probably cook anything in that yeah I've got another bird to, to throw in I might do it on a little bit lower temperature for a little bit longer so we'll see all right peace one last thing in Mississippi, growing up, we had a, a saying that it, it related to someone leaving a lot of meat on their, like their chicken bones or pretty much any bone. If they left meat on it, the saying was, there's enough meat on that to feed a maggot on a meat wagon. It's kind of a weird saying. But as you can see, I didn't leave any meat on these bones. And there's my meat wagon. So I've carved up the chicken pretty well. There's all the white meat, all the dark meat. So yeah. Oh, and it tastes. Mwah. 
I think this is probably better than any rotisserie chicken I've ever had. And I would do this again. Yeah, it's oh, so good. So yeah, there you go. Thank you, Butterball, for the uh, oil-free electric turkey fryer, chicken fryer. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, just wanted to uh, show you the soup I'm making. This is a sweet potato soup. I actually had to engineer the recipe. I had this soup um, a long time ago, back in college, at this coffee shop. And it was amazing. And I never had this other soup ever again. Like, anywhere I tried a potato soup, it sucked. So, um, I made my own potato soup, and it was fantastic. I had to kind of re-engineer just through taste. Um, anyway, my wife wanted uh, uh, some sweet potato soup with the same recipe. So, this is it. And it tastes delicious. So, yeah. Yay. Alright. This is it. The last time. Piece. Oh, oh, but you should check this out. So that's the potato peels uh, sauteed in olive oil with some salt and garlic and uh, then put in the oven to make like little chips for soup garnishing to garnish the soup. Soup garnishes. You know what I mean. All right, it's late. It's uh, it's eight o'clock. <laughs> it's not late. All right, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Peace. All right. So, and I don't cuss in my vlogs. Fifteen second rule, right?